internet and welcome back to EDU in Aini. Many of you shared interest in learning more about how to become a Google Certified Educator. And now that we're settled into 2018, we'll focus this episode on Google for Education certifications. Most of you are probably familiar with the Training Center, where we house lessons across nearly 20 Google tools with strategies for integrating technology into your classroom. Google for Education certifications are a great way to showcase your proficiency with Google tools and get recognized for these skills. In fact, many graduate programs and districts award credits for successfully completing these exams. The Level 1 certification is aligned to the Training Center Fundamentals content, while the Level 2 certification maps to the advanced training materials. Over the last two and a half years, more than 70,000 certificates have been awarded to teachers around the globe. So what are these exams actually like? Let's take a look. Both the Level 1 and Level 2 exams are performance based with live, in-app scenario questions. That way, educators are able to showcase their skills in the context of the apps and tools just as they would in their classrooms. We should note that while most of the exam will be the scenario questions, there will be some multiple choice as well. Most educators complete the exams within one and a half to three hours. To get started, head over to the Google for Education Training Center and click on the Certifications tab. There, you can register for both the Level 1 and Level 2 exams. And if you're looking to take things to the next level with your classroom technology, these exams are a great place to start. The Level 1 and Level 2 certifications are prerequisites for applying to the Google Certified Innovator Program or for becoming a Google Certified Trainer. That's all the time we have for this episode. Be sure to subscribe to the Google for Education YouTube channel, and we'll see you next time. Get your Chromebooks ready. Check out our last episode, where we return to the world of coding and look at using web apps on Chromebooks.